is very freaking bright. Um, so we are gonna do a video just talking about how we have converted our minivan and how we live in our minivan. Two adults and two dogs. One big dog, one tiny dog. This is Lily and this is Babu. So we're just gonna go over the van and a bunch of other stuff. All right, so what kind of van do we have? We have a 1996 Pontiac Transport SE, and we found from work we've had to have done on it that everybody hates to work on a Pontiac, even if it's something as simple as taking the battery out, it turns into a two-hour hassle. Yeah. It was like 600 at an auction, and there was like $250 in fees, and like another $50 because we paid on credit card for it. Uh, so it came out to like $960 that we had to pay for this van. And the only, we've had to get a new battery after about, we drove about 3,000 miles. And then when we drove about 6,000 miles, we had to get new tires. And then we just had to get a fuel injector put in the engine and that's the only work we've had it done and we've drove it for 13,000 miles. Yeah, and so total we probably have put in $3,000, $2,000. Um, 2100 Yeah, okay. So so we haven't really spent a lot on it. Um, it's very small. Um, you can see my mother standing next to it. My mother is five foot seven. And I like that it's small because I'm not, I don't like to drive big things and it's just like driving a car. I'm on the other side of the van but somehow the sun is still in my face. The sun is moving. So um, all of our stuff is stored underneath the bed except for a small amount of things. Um, this bed is big enough for four tubs to fit under, but we only have three under there and I'll show you why that is in a little bit. So this is our plates and stuff. Each of us has a plate. We also each have a bowl cup and we each have a coffee cup, um, but those are all dirty right now. So the only thing in here right now is the plates. Um, this is a vacuum, which I'll show you guys a little bit later. These are the pans we cook with. I'll show you what those go to in a little bit. Uh, miscellaneous cleaning stuff. You have to force them in there. Dog food goes here. Um, we get expensive dog food because our dog is special. For clothes, um, we originally started with two laundry baskets that we had stacked on top of each other, but the dog kept knocking them over and I got tired of that. So what we ended up doing was buying two of these flat tubs um, and just folding our clothes nicely so that it would fit in there. And so one of them can fit kind of diagonally and then the other one can fit on top of it. So that's all of our clothes and this is where it sits when we are camping. It sits in my seat in the front. Down here I have my notebooks and stuff that I like to get to, except I never do get to them for some reason. But this is our like extra toiletries because we had a lot of partials that we were trying to use up. So eventually we will we'll be down to like one tub. Um, and then this is like tools and a lot of first aid and stuff. Some of our camera stuff. Some of our camera stuff, all that. This is miscellaneous, uh, like a lot of it is Christmas presents for people um, and just miscellaneous stuff that didn't have a place. Because the dog kept uh, knocking things over. But at least over. half of this is Christmas presents for people. And this is all our laundry. That's what we need to wash. We have a different laundry bag, but we've got our toiletry bag here. It doesn't really stay organized. We need a different one, but we haven't found a better one yet. So that's what our stuff is in. We always have sunscreen and... Um, shampoo and stuff and we take showers at Planet Fitness usually or at Love's Truck Stops. And then down here we have our snacks between the seats. Um, but there's not really any snacks in there right now. And the seat right now is covered with Fruit. random food and stuff because we've been trying to keep it away from the bees. So it's like Yeah, so there's apples and stuff on there that the bees keep trying to get to. So the only, I guess, modification we have made to this van is the cup holders here um, from the back seats. We took all the seats out except for one and we put this wooden board here so that we could put a bed up here and store stuff underneath the bed. And that is all we have done to it. And then this seat we left in there so that if we have people hanging out with us, we can reorganize a little bit and they can drive with us. Um, it is time to get ready to go to town. So first thing we do to get the car ready is we have to take all of the blankets out of the floor and I hang them on the door and then we fold this thing up our tub from the chair goes underneath the bed and then this thing goes on the chair because this will be Lily's spot while we're driving so I got to move that stuff around so that I can fit that on there so both of the clothing tubs go right here they fit with just 
barely enough space. Sometimes it'll be right up onto the edge. I'm not quite sure why there's extra space right now. Um, dirty clothes goes in the middle, and then I actually put the blankets on top of all of that so that the dogs aren't knocking it all over and stuff. Uh, we don't normally have anything right here, but because we're going to be taking a shower today, we have our shower bag set up, and it's sitting there. And then we do still have stuff in the campsite that needs packed up, so we're going to mess with that too in a minute. All of the water jugs have to go in the back because we're going to fill them when we're in town, so we basically just shove those wherever they fit. We used to keep them up front, but Lily has a bad habit of jumping on top of them and making them explode, so now we have to shove them back here. And sometimes they explode when we shut the gate, so hopefully they don't do that. Usually we don't have six either, we usually yeah. have four, Yeah. Um, but since we're camping we got extra. Yeah. Um, usually when we're camping by a river, we let the dogs drink out of the river, but because there's no actual access to the river, like it's a drop-off, um, there's no water for the dogs, so we're just giving them, re like, filtered water. <laughs> Are you just unamused? I totally forgot about the trash, so we do have trash as well. Um, we do still have to put the table in, so I've got to find a spot for the table. I think we put the table just up on the bed. Uh, Lily, can I, can I make you move? Please, can you go sit on your chair? Please? Please, go sit on your chair. Got to flatten down baby Yoda and everything so that we can see out that window. We are back from town, so we're setting up the campsite. Uh, our campsite's pretty simple. It's literally two chairs and a folding card table. Uh, doggies get chained to this middle bar because Lily can't break it, so they get chained onto that. Babu is 50-50. Sometimes she's on a chain, sometimes she's not. Lily is always on the chain because Lily does not stay close. Like, I see those van life dogs who stay close to people, their owners all the time. Lily is not one of those dogs. If she sees a squirrel, she is gone and you are never seeing her again. Just like when we're packing the car to go, uh, we first take all the blankets out and hang them up. So, before I can get anything else done, I have to hang up all the blankets to get them out of the way. All of our stuff is out. Um, Clothes is back where it goes, the tub is back where it goes. My bed needs organized a little bit, but I'm not worried about that right now. But we're also going to vacuum, because I like to vacuum whenever we stop for camping. So in general, because we live in a minivan and there's not really a lot of walking room, um, this entryway gets super dirty. But also, since we have the dogs, and dogs don't know how to wipe their feet, uh, they get a lot of dust in here. So I'm gonna vacuum all that out. Everything's been vacuumed. I also vacuumed the front as well, at least what I could get to. This mat also likes to collect a lot of dust, so I'm just gonna Lysol wipe it off before I make the bed. And then after that, once I've made the bed, um, the car is as set up as it is ever gonna be. All right, so obviously, since we live in a minivan, we don't have a oven or anything. There's no, this is not a renovated van, so we don't have a stove or anything like that. So what we do have is a 12 volt cooker, and this thing takes forever to heat up. It's basically, um, like a steamer, I guess you could say. It's supposed to get up to 300 degrees, but I don't think we've ever gotten it that hot, but it does work for slow cooking. So what I'm gonna cook today is some vindaloo and rice, but I want to cook it with this butternut squash, so I'm gonna do the butternut squash first, and hopefully we're gonna cook it for like two or three hours and it should get soft. I'm actually gonna pre-soak the rice. So this is just minute rice. I usually get the jasmine flavor, but they didn't have that. And, and then I'm going to add that to this little tray, add a little bit of water, and then add the vindaloo sauce. The oven's gonna sit on my bed while it cooks, and the rice is gonna sit down here while it soaks. One thing to keep in mind is that because this is basically a steam cooker, the water doesn't evaporate, so it's really easy to use too much water. So I try to just use just enough to absorb into the rice, but if this doesn't all absorb, I'm gonna have to add more rice. All right, the food is done. As always, it takes longer, way longer than expected, so it's actually kind of not completely hot. It's just warm. Um, we have the rice sitting on top, and then we have the squash, which is a little bit underdone, but we're getting pretty used to having uncooked food. <laughs> Since the sun is setting, we are packing up the campsite for the night. Um, all that means is basically anything that smells like food has to go in the car. Um, we already have a badger that snuffles around to eat the bits of food that Lily spills on the ground, so if we did have actual food out, uh, it would probably never leave us alone ever again. 
peekaboo. Uh, both the dogs are hanging out on the bed while we clean. This gives you a pretty good uh, visual of how big they are. She's very small. She's like the size of a stuffed animal. We usually forget she's wherever she's at. We look for her randomly because she, we think she's disappeared. She's four and a half, five pounds. And then Lily is 80 to 90. It fluctuates. Uh, right now she's probably 80 because she's lost some weight. Um, she's very muddy, muddy girl right now. So she gets mud all over the bed. This bed is slightly shorter than a twin because we cut it. <laughs> so it is five foot, what was it? Five foot one inches? Yeah, five foot one. So it's five foot, well, foot one inches long and it's the width of a twin. And we've got to wash our sheets and blankets once to twice a week, depending on where we're at, how dirty yeah. it is, because the dogs do sleep in the beds with us. Yes. Because there is nowhere else for them to sleep. Yep. Uh, and like today, She's been getting in and out, and her feet are very dirty because this is she's this is dusty just girl. like sandy dirt, and uh, so she's been picking it up. Yeah, and you're dusty girl, dusty dusty girl. So uh, it's a good idea to have extra sheets, but we for some reason don't have that, so we just have to wash them a lot. And then the reason why we don't have a fourth tub is because my mom uses this here. Yep, as the bed. Sleep here. A lot of times Lily sleeps down here at my feet or like here along my side. So it just depends. If I get up there in a minute, she'll probably jump down to join mom. So I'll do that. So Babu is going to jump down to join mommy. Here, Babu. I got, you got to let me help you though. You can come sleep with me. You got to let me help you. Let me assist you. There's that. Lily's spreading you out. Get in your cave? Lily, do you want to get in the cave? Or are you going to stay up here with me? <laughs> you want to get in the cave? So she does very frequently take the entire bed. And if she is deciding she's going to take the entire bed, then you're stuck with her doing that. Okay, I guess she's sleeping with me tonight. Are you sleeping up there? Oh, oh the door didn't close. Nobody's sleeping yet. Yep. And so then up here we have a little bit of space, like I'd say two feet. Lily takes up half the bed. She usually sleeps like down there, but she's always annoying when she first gets in the bed. There's at least a few hours of every night where Babu can't decide which bed she wants to be on. So she goes back and forth over and over and over and over again. I know, you were just up here. 